I may be clear, first of all, the sanctions that the European Union has in place uh, do not target uh, Zimbabwe or Zimbabweans. They target individuals who are responsible for violence and a number of businesses linked to them. Now, the United Kingdom has always said we're ready to support progress on the ground. And we know that the solution to the problems that exist in Zimbabwe will come both from within, within Zimbabwe and from the support of SADC, uh, led by President Zuma. And I want to praise him for the efforts that he is making uh, to achieve a peaceful resolution of the issues that divide Zimbabwe from the international community and divide Zimbabweans from Zimbabweans. Uh, to that effect, we have supported the lifting of the, uh, uh, vo the voting rights at the IMF. We've lifted the, the, the ban on that. We've reduced sanctions on some companies. We're ready uh, to uh, respond to other progress as it's made, but I do emphasize the importance of the work of these commissions in emphasizing human rights, the freedom of the press, and the reforms of governance. And I think uh, President Zuma understands that we have made um, uh, progress, uh, and he himself is determined, like we are, uh, to continue what progress we can make in the months to come. Yeah, definitely, <clears throat> we discussed Zimbabwe, and, and I think the Prime Minister has articulated that. Um, <clears throat> there are things that have happened, as we'll hear that uh, even <clears throat> Zimbabwe has been supported in the IMF, that it should come back in terms of its uh, voting rights. We have also discussed the issue of sanctions, as you know, the subject positions, and I think the Prime Minister has responded <clears throat> clearly with an intention that there must be some progress that we see in Zimbabwe. And of course, the three commissions that have been established by all parties indicate some movement forward. And I think we are very positive that uh, as we work harder, we certainly would be able to make um, the position clear. I think there has been a greater understanding of what we are trying to do in Zimbabwe and what are the concerns. Clearly, if, if the Zimbabwean issue is not moving forward, uh, certainly <clears throat> some people could use sanctions as an excuse uh, to say because we are sanctioned, how do we, how do we operate? Zimbabweans have said, for an example, within the unity government, some ministers are able to travel all over the world, others are not, are restricted. So there is no equality in that kind of situation. These are matters we have talked about. And that is why we have agreed to find ways and means to resolve the situation in Zimbabwe. Of course, those who have applied sanctions are keen to see progress being made in Zimbabwe on the issues on the ground. And these are matters we are working on. 